Hello listeners, welcome back to the Western Political Thinkers. I am Ranjit Kaur, Assistant Professor in the Department of Political Science and Public Administration at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. In the last module, we discussed on the Plato's theory of justice. Today, we'll be talking about Plato's theory of education. In this, we will be talking about from where the idea of education Plato has incorporated, what is his idea of education, and finally, the criticism. So let's start. Nothing is holier than knowledge in this world, says Bhagavad Gita. Similarly, Plato wanted to make an ideal state, a state where there is justice. And if the system of justice fail, then the remedy is education. Education is the only source and medium through which justice could be established in an ideal state. Education, Plato says, is analogous to the theory of justice. Unless the various classes perform their functions which has been assigned to them, the ideal state cannot be formed. He also says that virtue is knowledge and that could be learned and taught. Education, if neglected, state becomes meaningless. The purpose of the education is to raise a man to the higher standard of life. And that is where he says education builds goodness and wisdom in human beings. A state is a spiritual organism which needs spiritual basis and education provides the foundation. The aim of Platonic education is to discover the innate element of the individual and to train them for social use. He also believed that to make individual complete personality an education helps in overall development of an individual. Education teaches an individual to be dutiful, to perform their functions and duties properly, to be efficient and a public spirited administrator. And so Barker has rightly pointed that education is an attempt to cure mental melody by mental medicine. Before Plato talks about his own system of education, he studied the two education systems which were prevailing at that time. The two major Greek cities, Athens and Sparta. The Athenian education system was different from that of the education system of Sparta. And so Plato adopted the positive points from both the education structure. If we look at the Athenian system of education, we will find that, that there was no interference of state. The family, the parents were responsible for the education of their wards. They have to arrange education. Females were not given education like that of the male members. The education system was divided into three stages, primary, secondary, and tertiary. The primary stage begins from the age of 6 years to 14 years, which includes subjects like music and gymnastic. Music in Athenian system has a very wider concept. It includes poetry, drama, literature, fine arts, all these kinds of subject. Whereas gymnastic is for physical health. It also talks about medicine. The secondary education starts from the age of 14 years to 18 years. This was the privilege of the rich people only, since the parents who can afford those who have the capabilities to pay to the sophist were arranging education for their wards. And the tertiary stage, at the higher education, was confirmed in rhetorics and politics. That's the art of traveling. And the tertiary state begins from 18 to 20 years 
and that was complete military training which was compulsory for all the youths now talking about the spartan system of education if we look at the country sparta it was surrounded by all the three sides by enemies so there was a demand for a rigorous military education you could say physical education so constant war have forced them to design their education system in such a manner and the education was the responsibility of the state so it was fully state controlled education system parents were not involved in the process females were kept on a similar pedestal in the terms of education so there was an equal education for both men and women youths were trained into stout faithful and warrior like citizens education begins at the age of 7 years where the children were taken from the parents and they were separated in an open barracks where they were being trained this system of education treated rich and poor alike so they developed the idea of equality living in a society together gymnastic was the pride of the place which gave them physical training music and dance was also a part of the training special emphasis was given on training for physical warfare so since their military attacks demanded such kind of education courage only was trained while wisdom was left untouched so if you look at the education system of athens and sparta you will find that the athenian system was most close to developing wisdom whereas the sparta provided military training now let us talk about the salient features of platonic system of education plato has divided his education system into elementary and higher education and this higher education system was the innovation of plato secondly he talked about balanced growth of human faculties if you look at his education curriculum we will find that from music gymnastic mathematics and dialectic all methods were been incorporated by plato state control education system which he has taken it from sparta where he wanted state should take the pride to provide education to the wards then education for both the sexes plato is considered to be as a first feminist and he believes that if women are also imparted with equal training they will do justice in an state education meant for all classes though he has not specifically mentioned that the uh, education is meant for peasants and farmers but practically he says that education will train all section and all classes of society censorship of books and literature plato believes that the art and literature should be framed in a watertight compartment that means they should be framed in such a manner which inculcates the feeling of patriotism amongst the youth education is a matter of lifetime he believes in long duration of education so he believes it cannot be achieved till the age of 18 or 25 years it should be extended all life that means till the age of 50 years ideal state as a product of education he wanted to construct an ideal state which can be on the basis of education only so let us talk about plato's system of education what exactly he means he has taken both the positive points from athens as well as sparta and he divided his education into two parts elementary education and higher education when we talk about elementary education it is further been subdivided into three subsections it includes different subjects as i said earlier music to gymnastic and health and mental everything is been incorporated so let us talk about that the first stage begins from birth to the age of 6 years 
Now, what a child is going to learn from birth to the age of six years majorly is through narrating stories and examples. We cannot teach them the theories at this stage. So obviously stories and examples only to incite religious and moral thoughts. So that was a very, uh, that was a very noble idea which Plato talks about. And also to produce honest and bra brave character. Second sub stage starts from six years to 18 years. The subjects which are being included in 6 years to 18 years is music and gymnastic. He is concentrating on these two subjects and what does he believe is music for the soul and gymnastic for the body. So as I said for Athenians, music has a wider meaning which includes poetry drama fine arts literature singing dancing everything whereas gymnastic for physical development as well as for health so that two subjects he has highlighted the third stage sub state start from the age of 18 years to 20 years and the subject taught is only military training and exclusive military training for two years which was again mandatory for the youth after the age of 20 years the first elementary test will be conducted before that there was no test those who will fail in this test they will form the producing class. The first class which we have studied in Plato's theory of justice is the producing class and after the first elementary test, producing class will be formed. And those who will pass for the exam, they will go further for higher education. So his higher education starts with physical fitness. They the ones, those who have chosen themselves for military career and for science subjects, they will go for higher education. Now, this first stage in the higher education starts from the age of 20 to 30 years. And the subject taught are science and mathematics and all advanced stages of astronomy. Study of sciences while instruction in logic is also being given in this particular stage. The second stage starts at the age of 30 years to 35 years. Now at the age of 30 to 35 years, at the 30th, another elementary test will be held. All those who will fail in this first elementary test will form military class. And those who will pass will go for further education. So we can see till now two classes of Plato has been formed, the producing class as well as the military class. The ones, those who will clear the second elementary test, they will go further for education in a dialectic method. The methodology which has been taught is dialectic. Those securing superpositions will study dialectic. But do you think at this stage, the philosophers, rulers are being made? No. Plato says, after the age of 35 years, they will be given training of philosopher's rule. They will be placed in administrative positions to work. And till the age of 50 years, they will be given internships. And at the age of 50, they will achieve the higher level of philosophy. At, and at this higher level of philosophy, when they are being asked, are you ready? To being a philosopher, they will say no. Why? Because they do not believe in gaining power in their hands. If there are 40 people, those who have achieved till the higher education, they will not be having the curiosity or lust to gain power. So you need to ask or request them, would you like to be a philosopher king? 
out of that 40 to 50 people, any one person will say, yes, I want to be a ruler. And that will be made as a philosopher king, which is the third class. Philosopher king at the age of 15. Let us talk about the criticism of Plato's theory of education. His theory of education firstly is narrower concept. Why it is narrower? Some thinkers believed that he has imparted more education to the philosopher than to the producing class. The producing class is deprived of the further stages of education. If they failed in the first elementary test, they are being asked to perform the production work. Secondly, education coextensive with life. He says that the education is for lifetime, but very few people have the desire as well as the capacity to learn till the age of 50. So that is how the education which is for lifetime is impossible. Thirdly, educational curriculum insufficient for rulers. The education system of Plato can make good philosophers, but not at all essential as a good rulers. You may gain knowledge in philosophy, you can be above all moral and ethical standards of life, but practically, are you a good person to rule, to direct, to lead? That's questionable. Fourthly, education will produce ideal philosopher, but not ideal man of action. Theoretical and the philosophy is different. Putting things into action or implementing the situations practically is very difficult. So the theoretical and practical aspects, not at all essential that it is going to match. Fifthly, censorship against modern beliefs. Plato believes that fine arts, poetry, drama, all should be operated in a sense which will impart patriotic feelings among youth. No evil idea should be depicted. In that case, it is very difficult to work in a watertight compartment. You cannot make your poetry, drama in one line. Literature is a flow of thoughts. And that is why this was criticized. Minimizes the influence of literature. As I said, literature is a flow of thoughts. You cannot fix barricades in between. You cannot say that you need to write within this framework. Whatever a writer believes, he writes. It's just flowing things, whatever comes in the mind of a person. So whether it is related to patriotism or it is not related in this line of the state, which parts or imparts moral and ethical values. But that is where Plato has restricted the thoughts of an author. Nextly, graft of Spartan over Athenian system. Sparta was the country who needed defense. So they highlighted more on physical training, training on warfare. Whereas Athens wanted more of philosophical ideas, that means knowledge of wisdom. And talking about both systems together, one which has system of wisdom, another does not. It was very confusing to incorporate both together. And finally, system of indoctrination. One ideas and thoughts of same kind Plato wanted to enforce in the minds of the individuals. He wanted to inbuilt or inculcate what he wants. So he's not listening to what people believe in. Pressurizing and directing them in one direction may not be always successful. So this criticism practically was also highlighted by his own student Aristotle. But many of the thinkers believe that he is the most modern thinker who has discussed about such a modern style of education setup. So I hope you would have 
learn how justice and education is related to each other and how the classes in justice what we have studied were the result of his lifelong education system. We'll meet in the next class with the theory of communism.